Hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of Tacoma Cyclist. I'm Tacoma Cyclist, and with me as always is Boogeyman. Hey. And every time I roll film, my cat has to come get involved too. Uh, so today we're gonna kind of give a little product review um, of this. <laughs> it's not a breathalyzer test. It's not a crazy musical instrument. Uh, this is the Psych Plus A7 tire inflator, or, you know, tire pump. And you might be asking yourself, why in the heck do I need this? And why is this so special? And you know what? Honestly, to some of you, you don't need this. Uh, but to some of you, this is going to be a game changer. And I'm going to kind of tell you why that is. Now, most of you <laughs> have a bike pump like this. I'm laughing because every time I pull that out, my cat freaks out and runs out of the room. Uh, and she did just that. Uh, most of you have a bike pump like this, and you know what? It works great. These things uh, have been around for decades, and for the most part, they're pretty good. And I'm guessing you probably have at least one, maybe two, or even three of these. Um, but they have their limitations. First of all, uh, let's face it, if you're going to travel with one in your car, you know, you go to bike races or you uh, go to a start line a lot, you have to put this in your car, and you probably have to put your wheels in your car with it, and you know, I've more than once jacked up the side of the rim with the hard metal edge of a bike uh, tire, uh, bike pump. I've also had these things break on me in the car, so um, not always ideal. This thing doesn't take up very much space at all. And that was what was kind of attractive to me about it, was the fact that it's small and doesn't take up much space. Now, First thing I'm gonna address right off the bat, I know a lot of people have asked questions in comments on Amazon and stuff, because uh, you can buy this on Amazon, by the way. 40 bucks, actually right now they got it on sale for $34 as of the time of the posting of this video. Uh, if you can snag one at 34 bucks, do it, right? This is gonna be a positive review uh, overall. But there are some questions and some comments about, oh, I can just put this on my bike. Because, you know, really those those Amazon pictures, you know, they're, they're sometimes they like, show a picture and they don't really show a frame of reference. I, I like the ones where they have like, it's obviously photoshopped in and it's ginormous compared to the human being that it's attached to or tiny. This is the size. It weighs in at about 373 grams or three quarters of a pound, a little over three quarters of a pound. So it's not light. I mean, it's, it's sturdy, right? Yeah. Um, it's not light and it doesn't fit in a bottle cage and it, you know, you're not gonna be able to stick this in your jersey pocket. Uh, so this is not your emergency roadside tire inflator. Um, what it is, though, is it's a very accurate, very repeatable digital inflator. I, I came about this product um, when I reached out to Psych Plus to actually ask them about their new smart trainer that they're uh, bringing to market. Uh, I think it's currently available on Indiegogo. I'll put some information up here on the screen. Um, it looks to be like an average smart trainer, honestly. You know, resistance control plus or minus 1% looks pretty cool. Looks like it even has some motion built in so you can ride and have the trainer do some flex and mobility. I reached out to them. They said they don't currently have any models available for demo, but they will send me one once they come in. So thank you for that. In the meantime, got a hold of one of these uh, at their request for me to test out. And well, here we are. Okay, so enough of the description as to what it is. Let me tell you, let me get the bad things out of the way first. Uh, if you have a USB-C charger right now uh, that came with your phone, chances are it's probably a high output one, right? So like 65 watts or whatever, maybe not that high, right? Those are, yeah, like 25-ish. 25 for your phone. This doesn't really like the high current ones. Um, it is USB-C, and I think that's a huge benefit, right? Garmin, take note, USB-C. Everybody's doing it now, right? Uh, even Apple's going to have to start doing USB-C. Ha ha. Um, it's USB-C, but it doesn't like some of the high current ones. So make sure when you plug it in, it actually is charging. Um, I made that mistake, got it right out of the box, plugged it into a charger for a Chromebook, came back the next day, it actually hadn't charged because it wasn't charging. Put it into a regular USB-C and it worked just fine. So that's kind of negative one. Not a big deal. The only other negative we can come up with on this is that it's actually kind of loud, right? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. I've got a sound clip here. I'll put it over top, and you can hear just how loud it is.
For many of you, that doesn't matter. Uh, and again, if you're taking this to a race, it's in the trunk of your car and you inflate your tires when you get there, who cares? You're outdoors, it's not a big deal. Um, if you're inflating your tires at 6 a.m. and your partner's upstairs trying to sleep, maybe a big deal, just bear in mind. Now, why is this a game changer for people like us? And maybe for people like you. We travel with our bikes and we travel a lot with our bikes. And there aren't really a whole lot of options for this when you travel. I mean, you can do a hand pump, you know, a little frame pump. But those things are impossible. And like most cyclists have arms like this. And those hand pumps, you're, you're not going to get above like 70 pounds per square inch on that thing. And then on top of that, they don't even have a gauge on them in most cases. Some of them do, but most of them don't have a gauge and you're stuck using a gauge. Which by the way, regardless, you should probably have one of these because I guarantee you, this isn't that accurate. This is very accurate. So, when you travel, how do you take this? Well, you either have to take a ginormous suitcase, so this will fit in it, which we wind up having to do, and that's one of the worst parts about traveling, is having to carry two bikes, a giant suitcase, probably two carry-ons because, you know, cycling stuff and, you know, a uh, backpack with laptops and stuff. There's a lot of crap to get around the airport. If you don't have to carry a giant suitcase and you can just get by with like some, you know, some large backpack or something, you don't have to bring this. This will pack neatly and you can carry it on a plane. Uh, I would recommend that you do in fact take the hose off, mostly because honestly the TSA idiots, I mean uh, uh, the employees, that the kind, gentle employees at the airport, um, may not know what this is and it might freak them out if it's all long. Like we've had them confiscate tools because a hex wrench was like two millimeters too long. And it's like, really? Do you think I'm gonna kill people with a hex wrench? <laughs> I mean, I'd be better equipped with my laptop to like crack somebody in the head with it than, ooh, I'm gonna hit you with this eight millimeter Allen key. But anyway, uh, you probably wanna disassemble this. So it just looks like maybe a charge bank or something. Uh, okay. so. You've seen it in use volume wise, uh, but let me tell you a couple of the other little specs about this. It will inflate up to 150 PSI. Uh, if you have tires that go up that high, I, I don't know, maybe you're on the track. <laughs> this will work for those two. Um, you have different modes. You can use this on your car. Um, currently right now, I do have it set up with the Presta adapter on it. This Presta adapter is brass, solid metal, so it's not gonna break anything. Um, you know, it's not going to get broken while you're messing around with it. The attachment here is solid brass and the hose is really well, you know, it's really well made. Um, there's no plastic fittings on here anywhere. So high quality device. Um, and like I said, it'll work on a car. It'll work in, on your bike. It'll work if you have a motorcycle, pay attention. Cause I, I like to ride motorcycles. Um, being able to inflate your tire on the side of the road is an important thing for a motorcyclist. This is a positive thing for that. It'll do all those. It'll inflate yoga balls, uh, you know, balance balls. It'll inflate basketballs. It comes with all the attachments in the box to do all those kinds of things, including that um, Schrader to Preston. So, huge plus. Um, in general, who is this for? Again, if you're just a, a casual bike rider and you don't already have a good pump, yeah, get this. I mean, why not? If you've already got a good pump at home, maybe this isn't for you. Maybe this is just not your thing. If you're a bike racer and you travel to and from races all the time, it's kind of a valuable tool to have. Uh, if you travel with your bike, this is for you. This is a tool that you need because you can, again, just pack it away and take it very easily with you. It doesn't take up much space. doesn't add any, any weight, any appreciable weight. Huge benefit here. So uh, overall recommendation, Pretty high, right? Yeah. So it's a very accurate pump. It's a couple PSI off. And again, you, you know, kind of verify with this, but once you get it set, it's al it always pumps up to the same amount. Um, so it, it may not be accurate, but it's consistent. And that to me is important. Um, and then other than that, it's, it's, it's a pump. It's a digital pump. Can't say enough positive stuff about it. This costs 40 bucks. This costs 40 bucks. Which would I rather have? Well, I've been using this 100%. One cool little bonus feature, just thought I'd show you. If you happen to be beside the road at night and you got a flat tire, um, 
It's nice to have this little light feature on there. It's not an incredibly bright light. You can't use this as a headlight or something, but hey, it comes in handy. You're trying to work on the bike or maybe your car on the side of the road. You can see what you're doing. All right, so that's it. 100% uh, positive review. I mean, I don't have enough. I, my, my little nitpicks are, are nothing. Okay, so thanks for stopping by uh, for this very short review. I, I know the Boogeyman was full of opinions and thoughts, and you know, I just couldn't get him to shut up this entire time. Uh, you know, he works off of thumbs up, so if you want him to speak more, give us more thumbs up, and he'll speak. Yeah. Uh, if you give us thumbs down, he looks like he's going to eat your soul, so don't, don't give us thumbs down. Uh, other than that, thanks for stopping by. If you like the content, subscribe if you haven't. There's only like 5% of you that are watching our videos that are subscribed. Imagine if all of you that were watching subscribed. Just imagine how rich we'd be. Okay, maybe not that. But, uh, you know, imagine how much we could enrich your lives if you subscribed. And then, of course, you want to not get notifications too, so click that button too. All right. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, pardon our silliness, but we love this thing. It's pretty freaking cool. Catch you next time.